So uh, let's pass the ascending aorta. Very good. Yeah, you see? You see something strange here? What is this? Yeah? Coronary. Uh, Coronary artery. artery. That's, that's, that's okay. Uh, but you, at the same time, you can see that the aorta is not any more uh, circular. It's elliptic. Why is it so? Because you see aorta now is bending here towards the, the left uh, ventricular apex, let's say, direction. So in order to see the cross-section of this aorta, you have to correct the angle. Mm -hmm. So go slightly deeper. Okay, you see more and more elliptic shape. So now to correct it, look at the model, very good. Now you see that to, to see it properly, you have to slightly increase the angle of the plane to approximately 30 degrees, and then go slightly deeper, keep the aorta all the time in the center. Mm -hmm. Okay, go deeper. Yeah, but keep aorta in the center. It's really important, you see, yeah. So now you are slightly too deep, so, so pull a little bit uh, back. Okay, but keep aorta in the center. Yep, you keep it in the center by rotating. Yeah, okay, so now it's in the center. So what, what do you have to do to see long axis view of the aortic valve? Long axis, so we change the plane to 160 more or less? No, not 160, but look, because you started from 30 more or less, 30, 40. So what to do to, to see the orthogonal view of it? Yes, 126 or something like that, mm -hmm. yeah? And then you will see the longitudinal view of the aortic valve, yeah? So more or less, this is the view you're going to, to have. And now you can also use the X-plane to see it. So come back to 35, let's say. And now press the X-plane button, yeah? And put the... the uh, the line just in the center. I, I, I would prefer to put it just in the center mm -hmm. and keep this uh, valve in the center as well. So then you will see the exactly cross-sectional view of this.